The EIS 104 is one of four GAAP reports. It displays the changes in depreciation of capitalized assets during the current year. The GAAP flag must be set to yes in order to generate this report. It can be sorted one of three ways, by asset class, function, or fund. For fiscal year end, it is recommended to generate the report all three ways. If you wish to exclude entity IDs from the 104, you would enter them at this prompt. For further information on entities, please refer to the entity ID video. If you wish to select a specific fund type, that would be governmental, proprietary, or fiduciary, you may do so at this time. And we're going to uh, report this by function. The 104 generates two reports, a summary and detail report. Each fund type, governmental, proprietary, fiduciary, is printed on a separate page. We're going to view the summary report first. The summary report is going to display the changes in depreciation of capitalized items in a column format. The beginning depreciation column is the life-to-date depreciation as of June 30th of the last fiscal year closed for all items that were capitalized at the beginning of this year. It should equal the ending depreciation column from the prior year. The continuing items column is the fiscal to-date depreciation, which is the current year only depreciation for all items that were capitalized at the beginning of the year. Acquisitions represents the depreciation for any capitalized items added during the current year. Dispositions column represents total depreciation, that's life to date plus fiscal to date, for any capitalized items disposed of during the current fiscal year. Transfers in and out represents life to date depreciation amounts from the transfer transaction program. It will show up as a positive amount in the function funder class it was transferred into and as a negative amount in the one it was transferred out of. Adjustments include total depreciation for capitalized items that had a transaction where the air adjustment flag was set to yes during the year. It may also include amounts from items that were capitalized at the beginning of the year but no longer are or vice versa due to an EIS cap run. Your ending balance is a calculated amount. It's the beginning balance plus your continuing items plus acquisitions minus dispositions plus or minus transfers in and out plus or minus adjustments. An additional page on the summer report may be generated for assets with unknown fund type. The cause of unknowns would be assets that do not have a fund in item screen, assets where the fund is in item screen but the fund is missing in fund screen, Assets where, the item, assets where the fund is an item and fund screen, but the associated fund type is missing in fund screen. Now we're going to view the EIS 104D report. This report will list the items that make up the amounts from the summary reports, acquisitions, dispositions, transfers, and adjustments. For example, for this function, we have a tag number and an acquisition amount. So this rep represents the depreciation so far for this acquisition that was added this year. Also, you may see an unclassified or unclassified function line on the reports. This amount is made up of items that either have an undefined function or asset class code. To find the tag numbers tied to these amounts, Run a 304 report for capitalized active items and scan down the asset class and function columns to find tags that have missing codes. If you find a missing code on an item, perform a transfer transaction to add it. To assist in balancing at the end of the fiscal year, the 104 may be compared to the EIS 305 book value report. Please refer to the balancing 104 versus 305 video for more information. Also, please refer back to the video selection for videos on the other EIS GAP report.